did the pit straightaway. 4,400 feet long. Sixth gear, 200 miles an hour. Stand on the brakes, down to fourth gear through turn number one at 120 miles an hour. Then it's downhill, diving 40 feet to turn three, a downshift to third gear. They enter at 175, taking this corner at 85 to 90 miles an hour. Now it's down the long chute to turn five, where Scott Britt will be stationed today. The downhill run, a drop of 60 feet, makes it feel like you've got more acceleration. 200 miles an hour here, the braking zone, downhill. Hard on the brakes, all the way down to second gear, the slowest corner at the track. Just over 55 miles an hour. Stand on the throttle, up to third gear, 135. Now dab the brakes. This is blind, off camber on the turn-in. Lots of drivers have gone off here. Quick upshift. Now this corner is almost flat in qualifying. Flat right-hander, turn number seven. Now downhill, 175 miles an hour to turn number eight. A drop of 55 feet through the left-hander here at about 70 miles an hour. Now it's the 910 complex, 140 miles an hour, 3.8 Gs. They lose about 60 feet of elevation, and now this is where it gets really cool at Elkhart Lake. 185 mile an hour, flat out, fifth gear kink. Well, it's flat and qualifying. Back on the throttle, up to sixth gear. 200 miles an hour down into Canada. How deep can you go on the brakes? Hard on the brakes, three and a half Gs of braking. Down to third gear, through the right-hander at 80 miles an hour. Up onto the curbs, quick up shift to fourth. Up under the tunnel now. Coming through here at 145 miles an hour. 160 right on the entry, back on the brakes. 92 miles an hour through the last corner, turn 14. And that completes a four-mile lap around historic Road America. Now that was prior.